What's up, guys? Uh, it's me, Melissa, or Mach. I go by both names. We are in the book of Judges today. I'm excited to present this to you. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with my intro. In a May 2021 study by Arizona Christian University, found that 43% of Americans ages 18 through 36 were either atheists or apathetic towards the existence of God, meaning uh, they have determined for themselves what is right and what is wrong. Another study by the Journal for the Scientific Study of Religion said, <clears throat> the more people spend on the internet, the less likely they will affiliate with a religious tradition or believe that one religion is more acceptable than another. What I'd like to say to you guys, rather than spending time searching the internet to explore religious ideas, we would all benefit much more by reading and studying the actual word of God. That may sound ancient to you, but the information you're getting from this world may seem right, but its end is the way of death. For example, here's something interesting. The Bible lists the seven deadly sins on your screen, lust, gluttony, greed, wrath, envy, uh, sloth, pride, or ego. When we look at this screen, we may not see our sin. This is an actual quote um, from the co-founder of LinkedIn. I'll go ahead and read it. It says social networks do best when they tap into one of the seven deadly sins, again said by co-founder of LinkedIn, Reid Hoffman. So let's go back to that list. Social media preys on one of these seven deadly sins. If sin wasn't so much fun, no one would be doing it, right? We are dealing with a digital devil in today's world. From the beginning, we've been taught that the serpent in the garden was more crafty than any beast. So if the deceiver was able to trick Eve with a fruit, just think of what tools he uses today. And perhaps the most heart-wrenching study for me was this 2020 study by the Barna Group and the American Bible study reads only 9% of U.S. adults read the Bible daily. Whew. I don't know, man. We're in some serious trouble. We need to know what the Bible actually says. And to be honest, as flattering as it is um, that you watch these presentations, it will not supplement God and his word. We should be opening our Bible reading his word, and spending time with God in prayer. Our Bible is truly just a guidebook on human behavior. It's an operation manual. And most of us would agree that, yeah, it's unnecessary to believe in God in order to be a moral person, right, or have good values. Most people would agree you don't need God to be a good person. Well, this book that we're going over today, the book of Judges, truly is going to show what a world looks like when we all do what we think is right in our own eyes. 